in my life. Um, but yeah, as far as Apple goes, I mean, I think they're, they're clearly in sports. I mean, they're, they're invested in sports and to what degree they want to get involved with, you know, college football, uh, remains to be seen. I, I have to say, Kevin Warren's done a masterful job of kind of playing everybody. And if, by the way, if I'm talking weird, I, my mouth's numb. I was at the dentist earlier today. So if anybody picks up on that, it feels weird talking. So it sounds okay. Okay. Um, but I appreciate what he's done. I think he's done a hell of a job PR wise and really, um, you know, making the big 10, the talk of the town and clearly is going to get them a boatload of money. Um, but they're starting to drag it out to the point now where I'm getting kind of like sick and tired of hearing about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like announce your deal. You know, I mean, I, I get why I get that there's gamesmanship as Mac Rhodes said, I get that, uh, there's very, like Mac Rhodes said yesterday, he's not believing anything until he sees a deal officially on paper because for all he knows Kevin Warren and the Big Ten are just trying to get ESPN to go you know wait a second we do need the Big Ten because people you know put pressure on them to to feel the need to carry the Big Ten or but like yeah we've been talking for weeks now about what this could be what this could look like what it could do and I'm interested in the expansion part of it but as far as the TV deal part of it okay it's over a billion dollars okay it's primarily going to be on you know three over-the-air networks we know there's a streaming component. I'm sure that's going to be announced soon, but now I just want to know. Like, now now I'm tired of talking about, like, what it could be. Just tell me what your deal is so the rest of the world can move on, but well, I know that's not what they want to do. Yeah, and, and here's another thing. And we got Bob Thompson, who's uh, become someone we've been able to lean on, the former Fox Sports executive who was on with us for a couple of days in a row. One of the things that he kind of said, and I got to give my buddy Rick, who's uh, – uh, someone very much entrenched into the ACC and, and again into NASCAR and much more, we keep hearing this number mm -hmm. that the Big Ten is going to give each team over $100 million apiece. We have heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. do you yeah. want me to read the text he sent me last night? Uh, I don't, yeah, well, well what, what was the bottom line to the text? So he listened to our segment, and he said, I agree with you that the numbers are pretty much where everybody expected to be. $1.25 billion divided by 16 is $78 million per school per year. Probably starts closer to 73 or 74 million per year, and then annual it the three to four percent escalate. Yeah. escalate. And, and so what he's saying at 1.25 billion, and you kind of just hear this. Well, okay, that's a hundred million, and that's something that happened back when USC and UCLA that story popped. Uh, it might not. It, if it is, that's great. It's great for everybody inside the Big Ten. But it's like that number just stuck, and it's almost like it's just there. And yet, if you break down the numbers. That doesn't mean there's not other revenue. But if you break down the numbers, as Bob was telling us, it's somewhere in that lower to mid, eventually upper 70 million, which is still fantastic. But it's almost like we're going from 50, 60, 70 to 100 million. And yes, there's a lot of new TV deals that are going to be negotiated and announced here pretty soon, including the Big Ten at some point. And he just kind of said, he said, wait a minute, just let's tap the brakes on the $100 million because I have not seen really that anywhere, but we have. We've heard that, discussed it, have even seen columns written about it. But $78 million, now I guess it's kind of a I'm good news. I'm not turning it down. No, it's a good news, bad news thing for everybody else. So say you're the ACC and the gap is not $60 million, it's $40 million. So maybe that's some that you can can make up. Same with like right now. So the Big 12 just did what? 42.6 million. The highest one they've had, 42.6. So that's a $30 million chasm. So it's not as bad as a, again, a 50 to $55 million chasm that they were, they were going to have to overcome. But it's still a chasm. It's still a pretty big one. It was going to be almost two and a half times if you got to the 100 mm -hmm. million per school. Mm -hmm. And Rick told me this even several weeks ago. He said, just watch out for that number now. It kind of got tossed out there and everybody just gobbled it up. And who knows what it eventually is going to be, but it's going to be interesting because I think, I don't know if Kevin Warren ever was quoted or ever said that it would be $100 million or if that's what somebody just, people started writing that and running with it Man. when they saw $2.25 billion or $2.5 billion. And even some of you have sent in text messages and said, hey, that doesn't add up. That math does not add up. Well, that's why I was saying yesterday that something doesn't add up. And you're saying, no, the numbers are right. And I'm like, man, something's just not clicking with me here. Like, it just seemed, it seemed like a lot for that one particular, what, the 330 window, just for that alone. I mean, I get it, but that was like, that was a huge chunk of money. 
And um, in that 350 or so million for that, yeah, 350 some million for the other, 300 and something million for the other. That's a hunt. That's a streaming. Billion. I mean, yeah. two streaming partners probably. So like, yeah, like I'm like, geez, Louise, like for these, just like that's why I'm saying like there has to be something else here. I mean, this can't just be like this much for all this. But I guess hey, if that's what but, people are willing to pay for but it. But even then, like that hundred billion was a or hundred million was a lot for me a year because I just wondered with your you know. Every school's getting a hundred million on the backs of about five schools in their television ratings. Everybody else, and we've seen this. I mean, you, we could do the same. I, I, I don't know this to be a fact just off the top of my head, but based on all the research, people like Sam Bradshaw and Tony and Altamore have done for us and shown like if you really break down the factors, if you take out you know the Titans, the the real ratings draws. There's not much of a difference in the ratings between or uh, you know a Washington and an Indiana or a Washington and a Baylor or a Washington and, and somebody else. They're all within the, the kind of like a standard deviation of each other. So that's why I was never like, oh, you're going to pay a hundred million dollars and some of that's going to be Illinois versus Indiana games like that aren't going to get ratings. I'm not trying to knock them. I'm just saying the simple fact of the matter is those are two teams that are usually four and six when they play each other. And that's not a huge ratings game. One of the 